right, good afternoon. Part three. Use it or lose it anyway. Um, I've got these index cards that I've printed on and I want to turn them into journal cards but I'm kind of struggling with what to do. So I'm just gessoing some. <laughs> so I figure if I knock it back a bit I might get some inspiration. So um, yeah. I'm just going to play around with some ideas. I want to go kind of a bit mixed media -y, grungy type things on these. So, um, yeah, you might have to just bear with me. So I do like that. But it needs more and I don't know what. I've been sat here procrastinating. So anyway, I hope everybody's well. Um, it's, I'm not even going to say it, it's odd. But um, yeah into the gym this morning um, just had a pick up somebody pick up something from Facebook marketplace who turned out to be one of my very old customers when I had my shop and she recognized me bless her and I looked at her and I thought yeah I recognize you too so um, yeah odd <laughs> to say the least perhaps I've just got one of those faces because <laughs> that shop has been shut 14 years I loved it I really did love my shop I loved being my own boss Ooh, I like that one right. okay I'm just gonna do what we got one two three four let's try five and see if we can get these done I know it seems a shame to cover over that flower but um, it's quite hard to kind of think what to work what to do on top so these are gonna be the writing sides I hope you can hear me. I keep getting complaints that people can't hear me, but uh, I don't know. I'll end up shouting and I will lose my voice. <laughs> so, which could be a good thing. Um, let's just wrap you in there for a minute. So, yeah, I'll just do a couple of these with you and then, because um, I've got all these. I did do. I was looking around. I did do two, which were just um, a pre-printed um, scrapbooking card. Um, and, you know, they're all right. I mean, they were fairly simple, I'll be honest with you, because it's, you know, it's already pre-patterned -pre for you. So just knock them back a bit, I think, make it look like we've done a little bit more than just stick a bit of card on there, because that's basically all I did. Yeah, it was a really thick card actually. It was a silly thing to use because um, it's bending. Because it, but once it's dry, it might be right. So, um, we're gonna put you. Let's put you there. And this one I stuck on one of my pre-made toppers that um, we will be doing some of those. So, um, because I'm gonna have tons of scraps left over, I just know I am. So, um, yeah, we'll do some of these. Now, as I say, Artie Mays has got, you know, she shows you exactly how to do this. So if you don't want to watch me, go and watch The Expert. <laughs> Although I do exactly the same as she does, to be fair. But I'm assuming she's the originator of um, doing those. I don't know. So now I'm nice and messy and painty. Um, Right, I, I'm i really stuck with these, I just, I'm, you know, so that'll be the back, that's the back, so that'll be the front, I'm just looking over here actually, I've got some of this tissue, I could get that used up, it might look quite good actually, and that solves the big problem of what the heck am I going to do with these, <laughs> right, let's stack those there out of the way worry about the hands let's get that there glue stick and oh, we'll just put the lid on that else you know what's going to happen get it over the bin because all the crusty bits fall off right okay hole punch lovely and uh, where are we going Okay. 
couldn't decide which side as you probably worked out anyway i hope you're all well if you're new here you are more than welcome um if you haven't seen this before i am challenging myself to get rid of all the rubbish well it's not rubbish it's all good stuff and that's what's annoying but all the bits that are left over from previous projects i'm trying to get them um used up because i keep keeping them in little boxes everywhere little packets and yeah it's it's got to use it or lose it and that's why i've called this that because it's time this is just a water brush yeah my plan is to make a ton of ephemera because when i was tidying up i actually found a half made journal so you know a lot of this ephemera can go in that <sighs> no, actually I quite like that. Right, I'm gonna leave that to dry. I'm gonna do the next one. I might just carry on with this um get this used up might as well. Looks like I've dipped it in ink or something there. That's nice. I do that there. Or more of that on there. Yes, there. Okay. that out of the way so everything will stick to it it doesn't help that the wind is now picked up <laughs> really not helping right now we get a few wrinkles really not bothered that's fine one thing off of my or out of my scrapbooks which would be good and that is my stomach growling I do apologize <laughs> but I'm obviously hungry I don't know why I've just had a brunch I can't exercise on a full stomach so I don't eat breakfast before I go to Pilates at half past nine I have a, a breakfast, lunch, brunch, as we all know what that's called. Right, stop wind, thank you. If nothing else, it's kind of calming everything down, isn't it? So, I think I just chucked these on a gel plate when I had a load of excess paint on at one point. Or I was cleaning off the plate. I don't know. I can't remember doing them. My neighbour that does the dog grooming has gone away. I don't know if I told you this, did I? Anyway, it's so quiet. <laughs> it's like... <sighs> Peace. Yes, they've gone away think for a week so we should have a nice quiet week I 
it might be quite nice just sort of there. Okay, there we are. Stuck the paper down, that was clever. Not helping me go away. My hands are getting sticky, that's why I've switched to this thing. Otherwise, it ends up sticking to me. Nothing else. I'm thinking that one. I just sort of overlap there. That would look quite nice. that straight edge there hopefully and I'll just kind of merge I'm going to call that done. Yes, there's some bits left on there, but seriously, I've got about 30 more of those. Right. Um, I'll leave that one for now. We'll just do these four. Because it should. I just need that one to dry for a bit. Put you lid on for a minute. for a paper um, let's just use scissors I think uh, what else do I need to do I like that one doesn't need an awful lot you can just maybe a little label or something no, I still haven't got around to making a new one of these. I know I need to. It's quite nice if I knock back that white. Just leave you there. Um, just looking around my bits and bobs. Have I got anything else that I can put on there? They're journaling cards you don't want to make them too lumpy so just be careful uh, because you know ideally you want to be able to write on the back of these so you don't want to go too heavy with lumpy things basically otherwise it kind of renders them not fit for purpose but we might Half a ticket there, what do you reckon? I 
probably gonna do it. It needs to go there. Stick it on. Stop faffing. I mean, you know, they're not mega exciting, but as I say, you have to be careful because um, you kind of render them useless otherwise. You can't write on the back, which as I say, that's the whole idea. But these are nice and thin, so they'll, you know, slip into a journal and not bulk it out too much because you can get a little bit too bulky sometimes. And that's why you end up with a great, great big gator mouth one. I think that's fine. I can write on that. It's fine. Give it a little juice. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Okay. You sit there. Let's give you a haircut. Again, that's gone light enough that you can easily write on the back of this card. So that's all good. ticket here definitely needs something there um, I have here the word on there that's quite nice scrap of that behind it and these are all just like little ephemera pieces I chopped out of a book page actually <laughs> uh, it was a cover you know cover of a book yeah so I just sort of cherry picked where I cut them and uh, I quite like that one That is grand. Shove you back over there. I could pull loads out of my stash, don't get me wrong. I've got, you know, oodles of stuff up there, but the idea of this whole use it or lose it is to literally just clear some of the weird and wonderful bits and bobs that I've got hanging around. So just move that slightly there. That'll be fine. Oh, glitter glue because that's quite a thick card. It was quite a thick book cover. So. Again, I could pull from stash with words and all sorts, but we're clearing the decks. Hopefully. There's a lot of decks to be cleared. Oh dear. Yeah, I've just been whacking stuff on Facebook Marketplace just to get rid because you just, you know, I, I kind of got in the mindset, you know, if I haven't used it for the last six months, if it's not something that's specific, like, um, let's say, my. Um, lino printing stuff i know i'll do it again i know i definitely will it's not something that i'll use every day but i am not getting rid of the kit a because the um the paint and the setup itself was quite expensive um i bought all that when i had money <laughs> when i was working full time so um yeah so i'm not gonna i'm not, I'm not gonna sell that obviously because um that's silly because I know I will do that again probably soon actually that's here 
bit of printing so yeah so things like that I mean it's like I've got two Sizzix machines but um, I was thinking about getting the electronic one and I thought I, do you know for some reason I thought they were only a hundred pound and I'd worked it this month and I thought I've got, I've got enough I can get it no no they're 200 and something so I'll wait until they come down a bit if they ever come down a bit um, and then I'll get myself on but yeah not paying 200 quid well I haven't got 200 pound not spare I've got, I've got the daughter's wedding although I say that I've got the daughter's wedding I've paid you know I've given her what I was going to give her and she's put that towards her honeymoon so so actually I haven't got any more expense to that because love them they have paid for it all themselves I don't know why their father hasn't helped out but that's you know I'll say no more right this is gorgeous I don't know if I want to put anything else on here I mean that is just lovely the way it is might do oh no don't disappear Hang on. <laughs> it's got stuck in the back of the cubby hole oh. right hold on let's empty the pocket a tiny tiny smidgen Ooh, that's gold because it's got some nice wrinkles in here I was trying to hold that up so you could see but it's just not working so I'll lay it down gold splattering that is Pebio's Renaissance gold gilding wax <laughs> give up with the hands they are a mess maybe a little something there um, what can we find uh, not bad see this is the um the new things from tim holtz the uh filed set that i'm not sure i'm not sure about them at all i'll be honest with you because i think you need something really dark in the back or really light let's try light um yeah to show up the unless you want to sit you know like a therapy session and put the new put the old the little numbers in. Oh, I don't really want to do that. I don't know. I think if I use those, I will have to painstakingly dig out all the little numbers and put them in because I don't think I'd be happy with just the silhouette. Yeah, you see, I'd want to find the little little things that go in there and the little one that goes in there. That would be me. Mm, okay, well, maybe what I'll do is just take time to do those some other time. Not today. Not today. Okay. Um, right, we've put some gesso on there now, so now we need something. Did I have anything? In. Something flattish. needs to be quite small doesn't it and um, we will be making some of these although as I say you just got to go to Artie Mays's um, channel she does a thorough show on how to make these snippety things 
I can't remember what they're called. Is it snippets or pigeon in? Ooh, that could be absolutely perfect. Yes. And that's what's going there. Yeah, so once these are made up, but you can see you just pick and choose and away you go. Now I'm not going to put it right in the corner because I want to round off. Yeah, round the corners off. I can't see this thing for toffee. Keep it still. Again, those um, snippets are kind of like use it or lose it. I keep forgetting that I've got them and, um, you know, consequently I'm not using them, which is just ridiculous. So, this is quite thin and quite flimsy, but sometimes you don't want a stonking great thick thing in your pocket. Got a nice bit of interest on there putting that golded um, golded golden uh, gilt golden gilding wax say that 10 times fast um on there so um yeah it's good i have done it before i've got the gilding wax and i've gone right around the edges with the with the wax but because it takes forever to dry as in i leave it overnight um i tend not to use it when i'm doing a a demo that's gone on really thin so that's fine but yeah i like that that butterfly is absolutely perfect there right one two three one more and i'm gonna let you go if you've been very very good and quiet right so what do you need my friend bits here. I'll tell you what I have got. I've got my dragonflies. No. no idea what's wrong with that dog. <laughs> it's not next door, which makes a change. <laughs> Sorry, totally distracted there, playing. I don't think steampunky would look brilliant. If I ink that up, it's a big dog walking area where I live, so that's why you're here so many, for which I do apologise. No, I'm not convincing myself of those. Right, okay. Uh, sorry, faffing. Um, oh, come on. What else should I put in there? I pull something from Stash and I don't really want to. Those were, those bits were cut out of um, excess paper and card that I just had, you know, and... Um, so technically not from stash they are from um actually you know bits left over i probably haven't explained that very well at all but i know what i mean these are Artie Maze's freebies on her website 
I don't want to pull a butterfly from Stash. I was hoping I had another one. What did I make on here? Oh, I'll tell you what I have got. I have a red bloom, which I die cut out of waste card. Um, these have been loafing around forever. The little bobbins. Oh yeah, I'll do, because, you know, we've entered the faffing zone otherwise. I just delicately, it's quite bendy. I just want to touch the edges, and let's get it stuck on. And take the top off. <laughs> Does like to stick that thing, doesn't it? Right, let's hold it there. You know, I'd um, tried to print my own business cards and they just, they, actually they did work, I must admit. And it was on like a, a parchment paper. And I nearly just sort of went, oh no, because I ended up buying some basically. Um, but I thought no, the card was too good to throw away because it was a beautiful card. Um, as I say, parchment paper. So um, yeah, so on the back, on some of them you will see printing, but it's fine. That's why we're covering and I'm doing this kind of stuff. I nearly threw these German cards away actually, because I looked at the printing on it. I was like, mm. but. Thankfully, that tissue was there and spoke to me. And yeah, okay, the tissue gone. is here today and we used it a couple of minutes ago finger tool Might be sticking there. Don't know. I need to go and get that in water, but I won't do it right now. Right. A um, Stabilo all pencil. Gonna just fade that out a bit. Faffing, aren't I?
very one well away, aren't I? Right, okay, that was fine. But I'll leave that there. Right. <laughs> You're not supposed to be doing that this challenge season. You're supposed to just be whacking them out. Okay. That, that needs to dry a little bit, but it's all good. Just go around with this ground espresso once more. It just gives it that little finishing touch. It's a very bright pink, but you know, what the heck? you guys I shall carry on on my own and then when we do the next one I'll show you what I did because I've got rather a lot <laughs> so um where are they all gone ah over here yeah so I'll do these on my own because otherwise it'll just keep going so I've got yeah loads <laughs> right okay. let me get you up close and personal I think towards the end of this I will have to start going into stash for um you know ephemera and things but so how's that one that one was very simple but I think you just catch the gold on there I say they're nice and thin so perfect to write on and slip into a pocket and that one turned out all right as well super thick cardboard that <laughs> Yeah, and then just a label and a ticket, and yeah, very effective. And again, you can easily write on that, no problem at all. You know, and if you, if people are really that fussy, they can put a bit of paper on there, can't they? So that's just for, as I say, I will carry on and um, do this pile and get them done and off the desk. And then one, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'll get those done. And then we're on to tags. Um, and then anything else that I can think of. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye.